Did you saw this news? Nitin Kamath is the CEO of Shiroda. He recently met a mild stroke. He mentioned, I wondered why a person who is fit and take care of himself could be affected. It will take around three to six months for a recovery. Good news is that it is only a mild stroke. I want to explain you a few things about mild stroke. What could be the possible reason? There are a couple of reasons he mentioned, but I want to explain you what is a stroke, why this is happening. So I asked my friend to prepare a video. So just watch this video and I will explain you my points after this video. Ever pondered about the marvel that keeps you alive every second of your day? The intricate network of highways that rush life-giving fuel to every cell in your body? Welcome to the mesmerizing world of the human circulatory system. Imagine a city bustling with activity. Now, replace the city with your body, the vehicles with blood, and the roads with blood vessels. This gives you a rough idea of your circulatory system. It's a vast, complex network of highways, main roads, and narrow lanes that transport blood, packed with oxygen and nutrients, to every nook and cranny of your body, from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. At the heart of this system, quite literally, is your heart. This muscular organ, about the size of your clenched fist, works tirelessly, pumping blood throughout your body. The heart is a two-sided pump. The right side, your right, not the heart's anatomical right, receives deoxygenated blood from the body and pumps it to the lungs. Here, the blood picks up oxygen and discards carbon dioxide, a waste product of metabolism. The oxygen-rich blood then returns to the left side of the heart, which pumps it back out to the body. Now, to deliver this oxygen and nutrient-rich blood to every cell, the heart relies on a vast network of blood vessels. These vessels come in three main types, arteries, veins, and capillaries. Arteries carry blood away from the heart, veins return it back, and capillaries form a bridge between arteries and veins and tissues, allowing for the exchange of oxygen, nutrients, and waste products. And that, in essence, is your circulatory system. A magnificent, ceaselessly working system that ensures every cell in your body gets the fuel it needs to perform its function, and that waste products are efficiently whisked away. To recap, the circulatory system is a complex network of blood vessels, with the heart as its tireless pump. The heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body, sends it to the lungs to pick up oxygen and discard carbon dioxide, and then pumps the oxygenated blood back out to the body. The blood vessels, comprising arteries, veins, and capillaries, transport this blood, delivering oxygen and nutrients to cells and carrying away waste products. So next time you take a moment to listen to the steady thump thump of your heartbeat, take a moment to appreciate the intricate dance of life being orchestrated by your circulatory system. It truly is one of nature's most fascinating marvels. We cannot see what is happening inside our body, but our body is connected and our body is sending blood and nutrients to all over the place from top to bottom. And if there is a disruption happening in this flow, that is when people are experiencing attack. There are two types of attack. One is a mild attack and mild attack is a warning sign. Body tell there is a problem, there is an imbalance, fix it. Otherwise, there is a big thing going to happen. So this kind of things can be prevented with three things. There are only three things we all have to do to make sure our body is healthy. That is one is exercise. Nitin Kamath is an exercise guy. He do exercise, he run marathon and things like that. So he do exercise, but then still this happened. So this is why it's very important to understand that a person going to the gym doesn't mean that be healthy. Our body is working in a very balanced way. Anything more is bad. Anything less is also bad. But there are a lot of people who are regularly doing hard exercise without taking proper rest. If you are not doing proper rest, this is not really going to help you. This is going to damage your health. That's why I have created a special testing method for my students to find out whether you are able to do the exercise because proper recovery is really important for overall health. It's not like you are just going to the gym every day, spending two, three hours of hard work, but you are not getting any benefit. Is it a smart thing what you have to do? No. What you have to do is go to the gym, do exercise, make sure you are also getting, giving your body enough rest. There are a lot of tests now nowadays is available to find out whether your body is recovered or not in case if you don't know what is that method and if you want my method then send me an email and i will give free access to my program a seven day free access so you can check all the things what i am explaining to my students when i am teaching my students about exercise and strength conditioning i am very much careful about two things one is proper exercise 
that mean posture and everything i don't want people to get injured with any type of exercise i don't want to people to do just one day of exercise i want people to do long time of exercise and that's why i really focus on posture first thing second thing is proper recovery and how i find out if they are recovered if they are my client they are always sending me a message and i can see in that message okay what is their number and that number is going to tell me whether they are recovered or not if the number is not the agreed number then they shouldn't be doing any hard exercise that means that their body is not recovered you can find all those details in the video do proper exercise again think about it not just doing too much of exercise make sure you are doing only enough exercise giving proper rest that is first thing second thing is are you getting enough nutrients this is the supplements i am taking and the reason i am taking this supplement is because i'm not getting some of the essential nutrients through my food and if i'm not getting my body is not going to work properly if my body is not getting enough that nutrients properly then there is an imbalance somewhere is going to happen and that imbalance is going to make problems to my body can be in the form of a clot you know that everywhere from head to down your body is pumping blood this blood is going through pump and in order for that blood to go properly the pump should have proper strength how your entire system get proper strength is through the nutrients what you are consuming so if you are not consuming proper nutrients if you are not giving your body proper nutrients your body is going to suffer your body is going to show weakness so to avoid that make sure you understand what is that nutrient you have to eat food but you don't want to eat too much of food you don't want to eat too less food as well so that is the second thing third thing is one of the important thing is sleep i am not talking about sleeping 8 10 hours of this general rule you have to get that four stage of nice sleep you have to get all those stages every day sometime it happened to me as well that some of the days i cannot sleep maybe i am doing a lot of exercise but because of the pain or because of the work pressure and things like that i cannot sleep if that is a case do you think i have to ex- exercise again i shouldn't be exercise so main thing i have to focus is to get proper recovery and that proper recovery you are going to get through nice sleep so if you are not getting nice sleep every day make sure you understand what is that reason why you are not getting nice sleep again you can take a sleeping pills to solve the sleeping problem but sleeping pill is going to make another problem always a pill is having a side effect so i am not telling you to solve your sleeping problem through a pill I'm telling you to find out why you are not able to get that natural sleep if you have a sleeping problem if you are too much stressed about if you are too much worried about something find out what is that many of us have belief system some of us have a lot of limiting beliefs so find out what is causing that sleep problem it can be mental issues it can be you know you're mentally stressed out or you can be it can be physical stressed out if you're working out too much if you have pain it's not really easy to get into good night sleep but mental that peacefulness make sure you check it one of the other thing if you already have any existing health condition like diabetes insulin resistance high blood pressure or sleep problems or not getting enough focus or having a problem feeling tired all the time eyes is having problem you're not sometime you are not feeling the energy this kind of all is your body is giving you a signal that there is some problem in your body if you are facing any of this health condition make sure you solve this problem naturally point is that not solving this problem through a pills i'm not saying that you shouldn't be using pill you shouldn't be going to a doctor but doctors are going to recommend you a pill a pill is going to give you some extra benefit what is that extra benefit side effects so if you are taking any pills ask your doctor what is the side effect of this pills how long i have to take this pills if your do- if your doctor is going to tell you that take till you die this is not that i I'm, i don't think your doctor is going to say that but if any of your doctor is going to tell you that take till you die then run away from that doctor but solve the problem using a natural remedy there are a lot of many of the problem can be solved by fixing that sleep problem by giving proper nutrition by giving proper body movement or exercise if you do all these things properly in a balanced way i'm sure you are going to have a healthy body mild stroke why this mild stroke is happening there are two types of stroke one is a mild stroke and then the second is a crazy stroke mild stroke is also called a warning stroke there is some problem in your system something is not working and your body is very clever giving a symptom a signal that something is wrong at least this time you have to really look into your own health and solve that problem nidin kamath is a ceo of 
a company and CEO have a lot of responsibilities and things like that. Very stressful job. But always check whether you are able to handle stress. If you cannot handle stress, find out a solution for that. Doing too much of exercise is a stress. I talk in my books about how to balance your hormone, how to balance, how to find out what hormone is not in balance. Everything is explained in my latest book. In case if you didn't get my book, make sure you get that book. And if you want the test, which I am, recommending to my clients and if you want a free access send me an email this is a limited time offer for you for let's just for one week if you're contacting me after one week this offer will not be available so if you want my test and my program there are four videos i created for for my strength client so if you want that access to that program send me an email link email address will be in the description send me an email and i will be happy to give access to this program free of cost there is only one reason because i want a lot of nice people around me make sure you share this video there is nothing to be panicked our body is very strong to handle all this crazy situation that is happening around us but we just let our body do its work when the body is going too much of out of balance body will show you symptoms understand this help your body by giving enough rest and enough nutrients and a smile